Hey my YouTube friends, Alan Palin here. Thank you guys for joining me today. In this video, we're gonna be designing artwork for my new home. While I haven't actually found anywhere to move yet, it is never too early to accessorize. Today we are going to be transforming this plain white canvas using the viral technique, best known as paint pouring, into a true treasure. We will also be using my acrylic paints, the Unicorn Art Magic Cell Forming Silicone, the Unicorn Art Magic Flow Formula, and a heat gun. You know me guys, I really like to turn up the heat on this channel. And while I certainly have not mastered this technique, to say the least, at least I have all the tools for success. And since you guys are such a treasure to me and my life, I thought our inspiration today could be literal treasure, to remind me of all the things I'll never have. The ultimate vision here is that the darker colors will provide a cave-like background, and the lighter colors will pop out like gems. But considering most of my projects here on this channel are borderline fails, we'll see how it goes. Before I ruin my floor just like I do in almost every other video, please smash that like button and we'll get right into prepping our paint. I literally feel like an artist. <laughs> Buys one canvas. While this project is definitely on the simpler side of things, I would have to say the most time-consuming part is probably all the prep work. And basically, all you have to do for that is pour each paint into its own cup. Along with the paint, we're going to add in some of the Unicorn Art Magic Flow Formula, as well as a couple drops of the Unicorn Art Magic Cell Forming Silicone. After our paints have been thoroughly blended, we are going to slowly layer them into one master cup and dump it all over our canvas. I love a good dump. After that, we're going to zap that bad boy with the heat gun, and we should have ourselves a beautiful work of art in no time. That's show business, folks. I expect perfection. If anybody would be interested in purchasing something made by yours truly, I am actually reopening my Etsy store here very soon. Feel free to follow me on Instagram so you can be the first to know when it opens. This one's super pretty. Come on out, you thick boy. You're a thick one. Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. Mmm. Shake that Laffy Taffy, that Laffy Taffy. Girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. I am so obsessed with all of these colors. I probably couldn't even choose a favorite. If only this was real silver. <laughs> Now that our paint is transferred into our cups, we're gonna add in some of the Unicorn Art Magic Flow formula. They do recommend a 50-50 ratio. Well, I unfortunately was wasteful of this product in the past, and I'm not quite sure I can pull that off. We're gonna add as much as we can. All right, you guys, the final ingredient to our little three-part mixture is the Unicorn Art Magic Cell Forming Silicone. They do recommend just adding a couple drops per container, so we're probably going to stick with that. I hate directions. All right, you guys, prior to layering our colors, we do have to make sure they are thoroughly mixed, so I think I'm going to use chopsticks for that. Hiya! like whipping up some eggs. Come on. Stir faster. Mix. As you guys can see, the silicone is reacting to the paints and it's starting to form little bubbles. All right, you guys, now that everything is thoroughly mixed and my arm feels like a limp noodle, we can take all of our colors and put them into our pouring cup. Remember guys, the key to success is doing this very slowly. Otherwise your colors will mix. Not ideal.
I love how I said to do this very slowly, but I'm clearly not obeying my own rules. As per usual. I think we might have made a little too much paint. All right, you guys, now that our paint has been layered into our cup, we're gonna pour it over our canvas. In effort to spill the least amount of paint as possible, we're going to put the canvas on the cup and then we're gonna flip it. And three, two, one. See the cells are starting to form. Okay. Look at that. Oh, hey, big boy. to stretch out our designs. We're gonna slowly shift it around. you guys here's what it looks like so far wet unfortunately I couldn't figure out how to get the heat gun to work uh, I did end up using my blowtorch I do feel like the results would have been similar either way so that's positive Alright you guys, here is the end result from our little paint pouring project. All in all, I really do like it. I do feel like when we do this again here in the near future, I'm definitely going to invest in a little more paint and more of the Magic Flow formula, just because I feel like if I would have done a thicker layer, the colors would have really popped. Since I did have to stretch them out so far across the canvas, they do come off as kind of dull and muted even. I would definitely love to hear all of your recommendations down below uh, for when we do this again, whether it be a color story or possibly a new surface to try out. I do already have another canvas purchased, but I am not opposed to trying something different, uh, whether that be on glass, on a table, on a television. I'm pretty much down for whatever at this point. Um, as long as it is something fun we could do together. Right now I'm just going to show you guys a couple close-ups of the end result, but other than that I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!